Hi everyone. Today I am going to explain how to create a model in the Power BI desktop. So in my previous video, I have explained how to import your Excel data into the Power BI desktop file. So using same uh, Power BI file uh, with the exported imported data, I am going to explain that Power BI modeling section. So for that, you can see uh, in the field sections, uh, I have imported the uh, three uh, excel sheets orders peoples and the return so you can see all the uh, columns i have uh, imported then uh, based on that file i will show you how to create your model okay so uh, to create your model you have to go to the model sections in the power bi desktop file so click on this button then it will uh, uh, redirect to the model section uh, of your power bi desktop file so now you can see by default it has created the one relationships the people side we have uh, one and the uh, order side uh, there's a star it means many it means from uh, one people uh, there is a relationship is one to many uh, the one uh, is available in the people and the order side we have multiple uh, values so the joining column is region uh, in both uh, data sets okay so this is uh, the uh, the default created uh, relationships but uh, i will show you how to create a, a relationship okay if you want you can go to the you can delete the existing uh, relationship by uh, right click on that uh, relationship and select delete or if you want to check the properties the uh, conditions the joining conditions you have to click on the properties then it will open your uh, edit relationship window now you can see in the order table join with the region and the people uh, data set join with the region so uh, the cardinality it means the relationship is many to one so in the order side we have many records and the people side we have the one record okay so the cardinality is many to one in addition to that there are multiple cardinalities available so one to one one to many many to many based on your data uh, the you have to change your cardinality but by default they have identified this is the one many to one so that is correct so other one is uh, cross filter direction so uh, sometimes uh, when you are developing your dashboards you have you can filter your data for one direction it means from order to people sometimes you have to filter your data for both directions so you have to uh, change that uh, filter directions based on your requirement now you can see i have located my edit relationships and you can see there is a single arrow from people to uh, i will close this one so you can see there is an arrow uh, it means the direction is people to order it means if you filter uh, it will work from people to order but it doesn't work from orders to people so to enable this one you have to uh, double click on that or click select the properties window and you put both then you can see uh, it will uh, represent both directions so likewise you can uh, change your cross filter direction so that is very important when we are developing dashboards now i will show you how to create a uh, fresh relationship between orders and the returns now you can see in the returns uh, data set i have a order as well as in the order uh, data set i have a order id okay so now uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a relationships for that you have to select this order id from the orders or you can select order id from the returns whatever the columns uh, you can select uh, for this example i am uh, take order id from the order data set and drag and drop my uh, order id into returns data set order id like this then you can see automatically it will create the relationship or a cardinality now you can see uh, it has created the cardinality the one side the return data set uh, contained uh, uh, one uh, symbol and the orders data set has a many so likewise uh, you can create the model in your power bi desktop like i explained earlier if you want to uh, change the uh, cross filter directions you can check change 
uh, from this and uh, you can see cardinality and the uh, joining uh, column you can change according to this mm, and also uh, if you want to delete you can right click on that and you can delete and also you can zoom in zoom out using uh, these uh, components and uh, likewise you can create your power bi uh, model using uh, imported data set so i think uh, you have clear understanding about the uh, data modeling with the power bi uh, desktop so if you have any questions you can put on the comment section thank you